about that. Uh, let's see. We have heat engines, passive effects, standing on fire, removes fire, and gives the mech boost. Ooh, nice. Uh, flaming artillery that drops fire on its way to its target. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, 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 nice. nice. Let me take a look at the reward queue here. Okay. I love this little animation. It's great. I hope this timeline found a way to mount a Renfield bomb on a missile and save us from having to do Volcano Island duty. All right, Harold. Whatever you say. I guess being immune to fire is kind of nice. All right, let's get these uh, let's get these names going here. Wordle, you're piloting Amish tech support. Oh yeah. Yeah, I guess we are. Maybe we're immune from the, the cool ability. A set of metafenin? You're piloting Chibi. Leo Kai? Amish, you had oh, you had another name. You're piloting Toriel. From my experience with this squad, train missions are pretty difficult. Okay. Uh, defend the tanks. Destroy the dam. What better way to use our fire than with water? Yeah, they're boosted for plus one damage. The half and the boost juice. That is cool. That is really good.
This game is bullshit without wind. Yeah, right? Wind wind solve all, solves all of our problems here. God damn it. This is stupid. You can choose the two directions, which is great. Nice. Does need the core for the push. Yeah, I mean, it definitely looks like it would be very nice with push. Okay, um, let's see here. I only need to stop these two, but like, and like, I can knock this guy back. But I don't know how to stop this guy yet. We can, let's see, this, we could knock this guy back. That gets him off of me. I only really need to stop this one unit. Well, I mean, I do have to stop this because he, he is killing me, but, uh, pushes away. Like there's this guy, hit him down to two. This is only capable of doing one right now. I might just have to take that grid damage, I guess. Maybe down here. Yeah, it's gone good so far, Ocelotus. How you doing today? Passive is stand on fire, removes fire, and gives the mech boost. Yeah, okay, so may maybe I can... No, no fire on this ability. I don't think there's any benefit to using getting that boost ability at the moment. It doesn't doesn't I don't know, it doesn't look like it's uh, I don't I don't think that FTL seems like a game that I would play very much. I could do an attack here, knock this guy away, and boost this guy. We would then have this boosty boost. We have four move. This doesn't do one damage when I attack right next to us, though. Wait, 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 stop, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, just wait, just hold on a second, wait, <laughs> um, Knock this guy back, then use this ability. Pushing this guy, uh, it pushes him into this, he attacks this building now. That's no good, we don't want that.
Lights that guy on fire. this tile we get boost I move here on uh, gain boost do two damage lethal two damage not lethal I only really need to do one damage to this guy if, if, he, if I deal with him one and then he's on fire I guess Okay. Okay, I have a no damage solution. Move here, fire one shot, and then like the other shot just doesn't get to go, and then we push this guy out of the way so he's on this tile. And then we move here. And, f and uh, kill uh, both of these units, because we'll be on fire and boosted. Or no, we won't be on fire and boosted, but it still does one damage to this guy, and this guy burns to death, and this guy's at one. And then this guy's on this tile and not hitting anything relevant. That's the way here. This guy does two damage to me. It's no grid damage, so it's good. Alright, I'm boosted now, baby. Oh, I'm boosted. Freaking boosted. Okay, well, this turn seems super easy. Destroy the dam, baby. Air horn. I thought this did damage. This doesn't do any damage at all. What are you fucking bananas over here?
squad has some real Trogdor energy. Yeah, it does. GG. That first team, uh, first turn would have, uh, was, uh, was pretty, pretty tough. Use three repair platforms, kill at least seven enemies, protect the power generator, bad repairs. I really want both of these completed, I don't know how reasonable that is to actually do. Defend the tanks, defend the train. Maybe I do these three. They're all fucking boosted every time. Like, I'm trying to maybe get this guy's attack to bait down here. This guy won't be able to do anything. This guy... Ought... Might be better to have you over here or something. Might, might cause this guy to go here and attack down this line. Oh, that guy can attack the tank. These two guys are both attacking the tank. Man. I can't knock this guy back either. Oh, that's a nasty fucker turn. Two turns, they'll be active. fire. I might have to just absorb this attack. this two grid. Yeah, I was hoping that, like, this guy would actually kill this guy, but this guy's going after this guy is. This guy's doing two damage, which isn't enough to kill this guy.
Wait, this is a really difficult turn. Like, the only things that I need to stop are these two. That's that's what I need to stop. So I can stop this guy from hitting him, this tank. I can stop this guy from hitting the tank by, by hitting him with that. I could potentially target my own guy with this, knocking him away, getting him out of this attack. No, I don't- I- sacrificing the tanks is not something that I'm going to do. I want a perfect island, if at all possible. I'd much rather sack two grid and- and four mech damage than the grid. Or, or then then the, the tanks sorry just move the tanks you can't yeah that would be nice I can move you over push this guy out of the way. you here that this guy doesn't have any push abilities this guy ah okay 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 uh wait 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 i does this pod i want the pod to the pod would die here fuck that's unacceptable because i was like okay we could push this guy here and then use this ability to push the tank out of the way of this guy so that way he doesn't get killed That'd be awesome. But then the tank, uh, the, the pod dies, which I also don't want. Which sucks is this guy also survives. This, this mech does not push, no. This guy does push. Just once. This, this guy pushes, uh, across. with damage down the middle. Um, the pod gets destroyed if a vet gets onto it, right? Pod's in such a bad spot. Yeah, so it goes. Push you to two. This guy has four move. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So you could, if I free him. Now, but if I if I free him using this ability, he'd be on this tile. So he could only two, three. He could move to this tile. Line attack down this direction. Pushing this guy here. This guy, this guy doesn't really do anything right now. Like, I don't think, like, it doesn't get any kills and it also doesn't have any move abilities.
I think that this attack, I think that this kills the pod. Can I deal... Can I do anything with the two if this was upgraded to have us be doing two damage? I don't know. I could move on to the pod. Do this. Pushing you out of the way. Pods have uh, extra loot in them, basically. Push you out of the way. So you would be here with four movement. And boosted. If I can get this guy here and do a line attack here and not have a unit here, it pushes him onto the pod and it solves... No, it doesn't solve anything, actually. I lied. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, I was thinking, I forgot about this guy is still doing that attack. Uh... I was thinking also like if I did a line attack down here, but then that would push him into the tank, push him here, that doesn't do anything useful. I think the fire must kill the tank. I, I don't know for sure, but... I could move you here and do a this kind of a thing. Boost both of you. So this guy can then move one, two, three, four. This guy would be here. Fire here doesn't kill him. Um, you have four move as well. One, two, three, four. move here. Put, firing this way, pushing this guy to the right. Then this guy is still a problem. I can't, I can't kill him. I don't think the tank survives the fire.
what a tough turn. What a tough turn. I need the pod and I need both of these. Ignore this. Can I move the tank here? If I can move the tank from here to here, that solves a lot of problems, but I think the only way for me to do that is to get this guy somehow here and then do an attack pushing him this direction. But the only way I can do that is if this guy is not here. I think. Ah, no! Okay, I can move all the way down here, do an attack backwards, like this, Pushing you here, one, two, three, four. Do a, an attack in this direction. Shoving this guy out of the way. Then this guy still has an action too. Um, I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do. You can do something. I think that solves it. Okay, so we go, we go here, we fire this way. He is here, you have four move. Uh, one, two, three, four. Fire this direction, pushes this guy out of the way, lights that guy on fire, pushes this guy into this guy. This guy's at one, this guy's at four. Does that lose the pod? Um, maybe. Yeah, probably. No, uh, this will put this guy is gonna bump into this guy. Ah, but I can resolve that issue. I can resolve that. That's fine because I can I can move over here and I can kill this guy with my with my fancy doodle do shots. No, the ramming this ramming guy does not move. He moves backwards, not forwards. This still works. So I have to move. Here, and yeah, if I were to do this, this would be bad. This wouldn't work. Oh, this, this guy's actually gonna die anyway. He's gonna die to fire. We take two grid damage with this plan, but that's fine. Um, but I need to kill this Vec first. I need to kill this raging scion first because that way that way this guy will push here and he will attack this guy yeah the fancy doodle do shots now I can't I would like to move this guy here and then do a shot on both of these guys I can't do that because I need a spot for this tank to slide into then the tank is toast oh the tank is toast yeah you're right Fuck. Fucking garbage. I don't like that at all. That's terrible. Yeah, this he pushes him. I push this guy out of the way. But then this guy follows him. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's fine. All I need to do then... No, that doesn't work either. Okay, yeah, yeah. The the vec, you're right. The vex shot does go over the pod, so it's not a problem. So all I need to do is do this first. It'll push this guy out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. And then so that that just it's this two grid is already lost, so we don't give a shit. We don't give a shit. We're actually hoping that this guy destroys the grid so that this guy's shot hits this guy in the face and kills him. I guess. Yeah, get wrecked, Grid. Oh, it actually is guaranteed. That's right, we don't have any Grid defense. Okay, I could also... I can also still kill this unit.
Or I could save my boost. I could save the boost. Could save it. Save the boost. Yeah, that's right. If I kill it, then the grid doesn't die, and then this guy doesn't die. Yeah, I think it's better to take the two grid versus the one. We have to save all the civilians. Yay, we're saved! Oh, not you. Yeah, everybody but you. Yeah, that's... Oh, I thought that this lit this guy on fire, by the way. It does not, apparently. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. We'll save the boost. Civilians paddling a canoe, you better believe that's paddling. Absolutely. Fucking later, nerds. <laughs> Fucking later, nerds. These two guys are doing garbage, dumb, dumb, duty head attacks. It's a technical term. I could I can get both these guys off the off of this grid, but I wanna kill them. I see a wind a wind wall. Well yeah, all every single turn we'd love to have wind ability. That would be awesome. Please. Okay, I can kill this guy. But then this guy, I don't have a... If I, if I move here, I could fire a shot like this, pushing this guy to the right. Uh, don't tell me solutions. Look, I can figure it out on my own. Look, you can... Stop it. We can move here, do two damage here, two damage here. Clouds are greater than fire. Yeah, absolutely they're greater than fire. We can move on to this fire, get boosted. Oh, this, <laughs> that doesn't work at all. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I think next turn we get to start using the tanks. They just do, like, a push attack or some shit. I don't mind just going here and pushing, shoving this guy off, but, like, I want to kill this... Interesting. There's some really interesting... There's a lot... There's so many move attacks with this group. Like, especially once we get push on this guy, there's gonna be some really cool... 
stuff, I think. Does this guy's attack do damage if I boost him? No. So this guy's attack just never does damage. It just starts a shitload of fires. Okay. We could go here and, like, knock this guy off of the grid. And then I could... Uh, before I do that, I could go here and do a two damage shot here and here. And then, um... You might want the Vec to be gone rather than just dead. What is more gone than dead? There's no- there's no more gone than that. That's the most gone that there is. How long does it take for a disc- uh, a Twitch sub to pop up and stream? You might need to refresh, because, like, a lot of times, it, it even if you've resubbed, it, like, won't register on your browser until you've refreshed. So, like, as I, I'm not getting anything if you think it should- something should pop up, so you should just refresh. Yeah, no, yeah, I understand. So I could, like, walk this guy onto this square to push this guy. Yeah, but I- but if I have a solution that kills, I'd much rather have that. I think I which I think I, I think there might be like I don't I can't kill this guy this turn I mean I guess I could but I'd have to like sacrifice everything for it um, I'd have to sacrifice everything everything Do you think in this difficulty it's literally impossible to perfect a round without mistakes? You can play the perfect round every round. I mean, we've gotten... Um, I think in our previous unfair run, we got three perfect islands. Now, if you're talking about never taking grid damage, no. Like, there's always times now in unfair, there seem to be a number of solutions that require you, a uh, number of turns that require you to take damage. Ev yes, every round that we do, ideally, is the perfect round with no mistakes, of course. There's a lot of, there's a number of turns that have perfect solutions, multiple perfect solutions, is in terms of like, killing all enemies, blocking all spawns, or whatever. But, like, they're way less common on Unfair. But, I mean, like, they happen. All you need... Yeah, but all you need is just more time. Just think more, and you'll find it eventually, probably, maybe. I don't know. Some, some solutions that we've found are what I would consider to be perfect, like the best possible solution. Doing that over the course of the entire run? Yeah, possible. But I mean, like, at this stage, the game just came out. It's, like, very difficult to to do that, I think. The, the, thing, the thing with Unfair that makes it exceptionally difficult is... Uh, is that, like, you don't know where the turns are that you're required to take damage, right? Like, you just don't know for sure, so...
Baba, there you go. See? See, I told you. Bamba, thank you so very much for the uh, 22 months. Uh, please do not leave any of the love lying around. Failure to do so may result in loss of limb. Thank you. Thanks for the prime. If you're bound to take a certain amount of damage, it's not kind of kind of not satisfying to find perfect rounds. No, I mean, I think it is satisfying. It's just challenging. That's what makes it difficult. I think that this is... This is... Unfair is amazing. I, I think that this is definitely... This is, like, what I wanted. Like, I wanted something that was... That had to... Had situations that were this this kind of difficult. You know? Given all that rain, I'm surprised the fire is still going. Yeah, no shit. So go here, two damage, two damage, move here, push this guy out of the way. I can't go here and attack this guy. It would kill him, but it would also kill the tank. So like, that's no good. So we can't do that. Um, I could go here. That doesn't really do anything. Does it, this thing doesn't start fires. Just push. This thing doesn't... This thing is a thermal discharger and it doesn't fucking start fires. This is outrageous. Like I, also, I want to be able to get double boost stacks. I'm upset. Okay. Yeah, I know it's three power. Like that should come standard, okay? I don't want to. I don't want to pay for the power windows. That should be standard. Standard, I say. Can I interest you in some upholstery scotch guarding for 2k, Billy? Oh my god. We got some kind of upholstery guard put on our couch that, like, when it showed up, it was all waxy. When we got our couch years ago. I don't think it was $2,000. I think it was, like, $50 or something. <laughs> Put thick plastic on your couch. If it was good enough for Auntie, it should be good enough for you. Oh God, that is the, that is, that is absolutely not what I want. That is the last thing. covered entirely in duct tape. Oh, that's much better. The red-green way. Thermal discharge talk makes them want to load into the breach and play some flame behemoths or whatever the squad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it is called flame behemoths. Yeah, for sure. If a shooty mech came with push standard, this would be so easy. Yeah. You know what else would be easy? If we started with wind every single time. Now that would be nice. That would be the juice.
I don't know if I can kill this guy. I thought that I could. Imagine if fire was like acid and they took double damage. Yeah, lots of interesting interactions here. So, like, what I was thinking is, like, I could move here and, like, maybe knock my own guy into this. No, yeah, it would be nice if you could shoot both shots at one target. Just one, though. Um... Okay. Push this guy out of the way, move here, well, move here beforehand, shoot, shoots. Move. Move you here, shoot, shoots. Move here, push this guy out of the way, move. The only the only thing that this guy can push, he could he could push this guy too into that guy or whatever. So then that uh, that guy would hit him for two. Don't need to do that. Here, attack that guy for two. Move here, attack him for two. Attack him for two. Set him on fire, he dies. Can I do this? I could light that guy on fire. Interesting. I can move on to this tile, knock him into the thing, and then do another two damage shot here, and then... That would kill him. The buildings being on fire doesn't do them damage, which is convenience. Can move you here. Here, fire in this direction, push this guy off the grid. View here.
Maybe taking one grid is necessary here. Yeah, you start at zero grid defense on unfair. At the end of our previous unfair run, we were at 25%, which was the highest that I've been on unfair. Otherwise, we've been around like between 15 and 20%. And by the time we get to the end of the run, we are knock this guy away here. Man, it's just nasty. Nasty. It's very, very challenging to deal with this. here shoot shoot doesn't open up any slots for us or anything so this this guy can't get far enough to push this guy off of the grid in this direction this guy can go here and push this guy to the left but it doesn't really do anything I don't think Shoot, how's the breaching? Uh, we're doing these here uh, fire dudes, the fire bros. Congrats on the Nimbus Nibblers one run. Yeah, yeah, it was a strong one. The booster units get also applies to the repairing. Yeah, the boost thing says that. I don't know that I've ever actually had the boost boost my healing. Like I don't think I've ever utilized it. Move you here, fire a shot onto my guy, running me into him, puts him to three. Have you here, shoot two, shoot two. Like it still doesn't solve like I can't I can't solve this grid damage. I could kill this guy, but like that's not good enough. Boost doesn't mean you take extra damage. It just if you have something that deals self damage, you take extra damage, because that's just damage that you're doing. Uh, I'm not sure, Peanut. I'm not sure if, like, if you move uh, with the mist, the cloud eaters, the mist nibblers, if it would consume that. The only way to get this guy off of this grid is to move him one to the left and there is not a single unit that I have that can interact with it in that way. The only guy that can solve this guy's problem as far as movement goes is this guy. Well, this, this guy or this guy can both do that. So the only way that I can deal four damage there's well there's a couple ways I can deal four damage to this guy. I can deal damage to the grid or something, but um, I could deal two with this guy, one with this guy, and then put him on fire or something. Or I, but then we take one grid damage here. Or I can, uh, I could boost you and have you, I can't have him attack left here because it knocks the tank into this thing. We can't, I could, I could go here, move this guy to the right. I don't, I don't think just these two alone have the ability to deal four damage to this guy.
So I think I'm just gonna take this one grid damage. I don't see a solution that doesn't involve me taking this one grid damage, so I'm gonna kill this guy and take one grid damage. Um, just cause that's, uh, that's just what I see. Shoot, shoot, move you here, fire one damage, fire a shot from this guy onto you, knocking him in so that he's boosted for next turn. This does knock my guy back, but I don't think I care. are powered by the grid. We that needs to start. Stop breaking the grid, you fucking idiot. What are you doing? All right, tanks. We got tanks. What are you? Stop breaking it. Get off my lawn. Move here, shoot, put this guy to two, shoot, put this guy to dead, move, you, onto this time, no, I, I, I want to, I, I was thinking at first that I could like move and like do a line shot to push these two to the side, but that doesn't work because, um, because uh, it destroys the pod. Could move here, do a line. Uh, we don't want to do a line shot like this and push the tank. I mean, I guess I could move the tank out of the way. But. I feel like this guy is probably going to go here, shoot, shoot. Like, we can knock this guy off of me if I want. Uh, this, like, this guy can push him away, and that's, like, a non-issue. I guess I could... If this guy's dead, I could move the tank onto this tile and then push this guy away. Um, I do need to get rid of this guy. Uh, I could get rid of this guy... ...by... Uh, ...pushing him away with this unit, and then I could go here... ...or go here, or go here... ...and do like a line attack, killing him. We go then we this guy's dead this guy's dead this guy has moved here this guy we move we move tank here push left he dies to that guy's attack this guy has a free action like I, I guess I could like push this guy away with this attack too potentially uh, so we could move you down here uh, move you back here. Oh no, he only has a two. He can only go two tiles. He can't go three. Okay. Um, yeah, having two more units is very useful, no doubt. 
This also does pushes that guy back and lights him on fire. So he'll uh, die next turn. He won't get any more attacks. Well, I, I guess I have to deal one more damage, but... Or no, no, because I'm pushing this guy back this way. Right. Um... So I have to go back here, all the way back here. So, uh, yeah, this doesn't work. Oh, wait, this guy still has one HP. But I can move the tank over here and knock him into this guy, dealing him one extra point of damage. Oh, no, 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 no. No, this guy's dealing him that other one point of damage. Right, right, right. But I could use that, I could, like, if I wanted the shot to go elsewhere, I guess I could do that in that case. I don't know, this seems fine. This seems fine. How many can I kill? I can definitely get that guy killed. I don't think... I don't know if I can do five points of damage. kind of doubt it. I can move you out of the way, knock this guy into him. I can move you here, knock this guy... Oh, hey, this guy actually... I'd have to knock this guy twice in order for him to get hit by one of these units. I do need to stop this guy's attack, though, because this guy is... Uh, that's going to hit my grid, and I definitely can't take any more grid damage. We've taken enough. Haven't we taken enough grid damage? Two, this guy, one, two, three. Three grid da three damage for sure. No, we collected the pod. The pod's gone, so you watch when I move him. The pod's not there anymore. We've seen the objectives, it's completed. I guess I could just move this guy in the way of that. Oh, okay. I see. I can, uh, I can shove this guy. No, I don't. I can't. I don't have enough. Okay. Do 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 do. Yeah, it's really impressive, the stuff that they came up with for this. Very, very impressive. So 
this guy dies on his turn. This guy's shot goes into nothingness. This guy's three damage shot hits my uh, flamey boy here. But number one pet peeve in this game, in game design, games that auto mute when you click out of them. Yeah, this game doesn't do that. It's impressive. FTL doesn't do that either. You know what? Uh, games that require you to click on the edge of the screen a lot, like on the very edge of the screen, and they can't keep your fucking mouse inside the window. Those, that is like a super huge pet peeve of mine. Checking out a game that now pauses on click out, and they have a setting for a click out pause. But guess what? It still auto mutes either way, bruh. I still have a bajillion actions, but like I don't have anything useful to do. Fucking point. This mech is gonna well, watch out! Get out of my way! We did it. We only sacrificed a shitload of grid. We welcome aboard, Camila. Mech unaffected by webbing and smoke. Ooh, nice. Seems good. Welcome aboard. But your name is not actually Camila, it's Muck Elch, and you're piloting Chibi. And then nice. Boy, I need, uh, this sucks because, like, the only ones that have repairs on them right now are the ones that are, uh, fucking uh, horrifyingly difficult. So I think I want to go Artifact Vaults and then this other one, bottom right. Um, I'm actually going to take a break. We'll figure out where the reactor is going to go. And, uh... All that jazz. We've been going for five hours. We got another five hours left. Adding push on these rockets, I feel like, is the upgrade. Getting more range on this would also be really nice. Really good. I think push would be nice. But, uh... I guess I could do it now before I forget. But I'll put the, uh... I'll put the, uh, clips up for you all and uh, you can enjoy them while I am having a bit of lunch. Our squad completions bugged in the mobile version of Into the Breach. I finished my fourth, but I'm still only counted as three squad victories. Hmm. I do not know the answer to that bonus. I haven't ever played it on, on mobile. Okay, I think